Tekken people are amongst the most trash talking people around. Virtual Fighter are more like more humble, more into getting new people into the community. Even though the Virtual Fighter community isn't that big because the game takes too much skill to get get into, it's like people flock to Tekken. It's a more commercially accessible game to get into and that's to get results. You know, um, Street Fighter. I think Street Fighter is a more of that aristocratic thing because Street Fighter has been around longer. You know, they feel like, well, I've been on top of the mountain. I've been playing Street Fighter since World Warriors, so look at me. Your game just came out not too long ago. So I think most top tier Street Fighter players don't, they, they look at the other games and they don't necessarily feel inclined to move on. They want to stick in their own little niche where they feel comfortable. I mean, that's cool if that's what you want to do. Um, mix up, rush down, that's, that's pretty much my style. Our, I was arguably the best lay player in the United States from Tekken 4 to Tekken 5. But then I kind of veered off. I got more into Soul Calibur and when Tekken 6 finally did come out, I just decided to just, eh, the game looked... It, they copied so many elements from, from Virtua Fighter that the game became too juggle based. Which is the reason why Namco had to come out with another version of it. And it's still juggle based. It's Wait and Joyce but like, are you done yet? Or, or, can I can I, can I can I can I move my character now? Oh, oh you still oh you bounce me back up in the air. Now you now combo number two. Oh now you hit the wall and you can't escape. That's another combo. Now I have to oh, if I get up, I make a wrong choice, oh it's round two. So it's a it's a bullshit game. But people are gonna play it because it's a commercial game. It's gonna be a 3D version of Street Fighter 4. It has a good gimmick. I think the whole focus cancel, I think it's a really good deal if implemented correctly. But I think a lot of matches I see, a lot of people aren't really utilizing it. You know, I, you know, it, it, if I didn't know any better, if you minus all the flashy graphics, I think people are still playing old Street Fighter. You know? Alright. If you if you want my honest opinion, it's an old, old Super Nintendo game called Weapon Lord. <laughs> okay, that game, every character can fight every character. The parry system was beautiful. It's not like how tra how soul crapular it is, where you do a parry and you can't block. If y'all put anything on the air, anything on the air, I want I wanna see this one part. I am sick and tired of video game. Yes. <laughs> I am sick and tired of all of you turn of all of the tournament people, like the communities, of Soul Calibur, Tekken, Virtual Fighter. Not Virtual Fighter, but that allow glitches, bullshit characters, Soul Calibur, Hilda, Algar, come on, bullshit characters. She has a combo that can ring you out from anywhere in the level, takes 100, 150 damage, even if it doesn't ring you out. Algar just keeps shooting bubbles at you. The Soul Calibur people know what I'm talking about. CVS2, roll cancel, a glitch in a game. So that means in order for me to get into the game, I have to master a glitch. So effectively, that, that kind of kills the game or, or makes the game stagnant prematurely. Because why am I going to subjugate myself to leave out of New York, to fly to Texas or California somewhere, to play a bunch of players that's, that have no true skill, they're only utilizing a cheap-ass character that should be banned beat me, now I'm back on a plane ride back home thinking about, wow, why the fuck did I even come out here for? That's the shit that I, that I can't understand. You know, if it was up to me, all these cheap ass characters will be banned, period. If you don't like it, don't play in the fucking tournament. I'm sick and tired of people bending to the will of these gamers.